Hello, so in this lab, I'll show you how to get started with scaffold for local development. So for doing this, you will require a few things installed on your laptop or on your local machine. So first thing would be Minikube. So if you're a Windows user, you can simply install Minikube by downloading by clicking on this uh, button. You can download and you can simply install by doing a next next finish. Then you will require Docker for desktop, you can which you can download from here. And you will require scaffold CLI, which you would need to download from here. And once you have downloaded this, then you have to basically upload it to the C drive. So inside C drive under program 86, you have to create a folder uh, under program 86 or normal program files. You can create a folders known as scaffold, like I have done it over here. And you have to keep the exe file you have to rename it and rename it as scaffold.exe and keep it over here and once you have done that then you have to go to environment variables of your windows machine and under the setting which is path you need to say edit and you have to say add new and you add this path right over here so you'll say add new and you will say copy paste like this okay so i've already done that and my setup is up and running so let's get started with it so in this demo i would be taking a sample go language application right so this is my application file so it's a simple golang application which says let's say it's initially it will say hello world okay it also has a docker file to basically build this application so this is what the docker file looks like it's a multi-stage build docker file which builds the image and then creates a normal alpine lightweight image it also has kubernetes definition files right which basically creates a pod for us so this is what it looks like it's a simple definition file which uses the locally built image so what will happen is using this image this docker file will build the image and then uh, we are referring that image inside the kubernetes file as well okay definition file as well and finally we have the scaffold definition file which is doing two things for us first it is building the image and the image name it is keeping it as scaffold hyphen example and then finally it is performing the deployment and since we have minikube installed we would be doing a local deployment in this scenario so these are the dependencies and the files now let's get started with it so i have already opened command prompt in the same folder which is getting started folder and from here i would need to run some commands right so first i would need to start minikube with a, a custom profile i'll run this command minikube start hyphen hyphen custom hyphen hyphen profile space custom this will start minikube for us on my windows machine right so let's give it a minute so my minikube cluster is running now next i need to say scaffold that i am doing uh, developing my local cluster by running this command so i'll say scaffold uh, config set hyphen hyphen global local cluster true okay miss anything let me quickly check if i messed up with the environment variable
Okay, so scaffold CLI wasn't working on PowerShell. Uh, in you can you have to use command prompt for this. So again, coming back, so I'll run this command, which will basically start scaffold for the local environment, right? And then I just need to finally say that scaffold dev, and this will start the uh, Docker image build process. And then once the image is built, it will do the deployment on my Minikube cluster. So let's run this command and let's see what happens. Okay, so started listening to the changes. Okay, and now it is basically building the image. So it will build the image. So getting the Golang image and then uh, building the application. Now getting the Alpine image. And the image is built successfully and now it is tagging the image and finally the application is running just to validate if we have the image created or not let's run docker images command and we have the image over here and let's do qctl get pods command and we have one pod also running now this pod is running and is showing hello world okay now let's say that I did some changes to my application code so let's go to the go language application code and let's do a small change so i'll say hello world and let's put a few more exclamations over here and let's save this file and let's see what happens as soon as you do these changes and here we go so it is again building the image and it is now deploying the pod out of it and the exclamation is coming over here okay so this is what scaffold does it eases the process of building the image tagging the image if you're tagging it anyways uh, then if you want to run some testing it helps you to test uh, test those scripts so, all right and then finally it does the deployment and for doing all these things uh, it supports various tools like for example for building images it supports docker it supports uh, jib right uh, for deployment it supports the kubernetes manifest file it also supports hem charts all right so if you have hem charts you can uh, tell scaffold to do deployment using the hem charts like in this scenario what we did is we used uh, the yml files the manifest file and use those manifest file and it did the, did the deployment okay so this is it for this video thank you for watching